Hey, how's it going? It's Philip Brady from Philip Brady Coaching. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to do a quick kind of morning routine video and show you one of the things that I do most mornings uh, when I get up early uh, to kind of reflect on where I am and what I need to do next. And I just thought it'd be useful to share because it's one of the things that you can use in coaching sessions and something I guess that if it helps you in any way today, well then I think that's a good thing. So I just wanted to share it, I guess. I've talked before about if you're feeling down or feeling sad, one of the things you can do is look back in your life and reflect on the things that you're grateful for, but also look forward and set goals. And this kind of tool, which is called the Wheel of Life, if you use it in the right way, can be kind of great at looking back at things to be grateful for, but also uh, set goals and know what area to set goals in and at least then give you that kind of awareness of where you are, where you want to be, and then kind of set steps to get there. So I've just, I've drawn it already. Excuse the drawing, I'm not, I haven't practiced my art recently. <laughs> so these are different areas. I've just divided up a circle into quadrants or into eight pieces. And I've decided at different areas, uh, so friends are important, goals are important, relationships, finances, coaching, fitness, and then there's different areas that you can add on then afterwards. So I've marked myself in each of the areas. So this would be zero, and then moving out, this would be a 10 out of 10. This would be brilliant. This would be amazing. Um, and I guess so finances this week, I've marked myself down a little bit. So this could be an area that I set goals. But if you look, relationships is actually pretty high. It's not that bad. It's probably a five or six out of 10. So this could be a thing that I can practice gratitude about. So I can be thankful for the people and relationships that I have in my life and use it in that way. So in a number of different ways. So I am setting aside time this week to meet up with friends because I realized that that was quite low this week as well. So that could potentially by the end of the day be pushed out. And that's one of the kind of things that maybe to be grateful for tomorrow when I reflect on it being that bit higher. So I know I've talked before about kind of looking back and being thankful and looking forward and setting goals. So for the areas that I'm low in, what I do is normally take myself through the grow model. So that's a normal coaching session is kind of like the rough structure that can be used in a session. So it's goal, reality, options, way forward, grow. So G or O W. So the goal could be, let's say finances. So I want to make an extra hundred pound a month. Uh, the reality is, uh, what, so what do I have available to me at the moment or what am I currently at? So at the moment I don't have £100 extra a month, but I'd like it. So that, that was the goal. I have resources, so I have people that I can ring. I, ha I can play music, so that's maybe a resource available to me to think about using that to uh, earn the extra £100 a month. So kind of see where you are, what you have at your, uh, at your disposal, I guess. Options could be I'm going to ring, let's say, Jim in the pub and ask for an extra gig. So that's an option. I could go out and busk, which is another option. Uh, I could look up uh, playing guitar and selling online tutorials. That's another option. And then way forward, what am I actually going to commit to doing by a certain point in time next week? So let's say I commit to ring a gym on Tuesday and asking them for a gig by five o'clock. And I make that commitment to myself. And then when I reflect back on the wheel of life, maybe next week, I can see that I've done something to push this out. I'm going to feel better about myself because it's an area that I want to improve, which is also going to improve, let's say, if this was music, it's also going to improve that area. So I can see that I've done something for two, set a goal, realized where I was, taken kind of check, and uh, I think it's a really useful tool. So I just thought it'd be interesting to pass it on. And I hope, I guess, that your wheel of life looks interesting. It can look uh, uh, kind of haphazard with some areas being higher and lower and that's okay but it kind of gives you a, a visual way of representing where you are if you want to improve the areas that are lower go through the grow model goal what do you want reality where are you now options what could you do and way forward then what are you actually going to commit to doing by a certain point in time and i just hope that that's helpful to you today and um, practice gratitude on the things that are scoring highly for you because that's another kind of you cannot feel fear and gratitude at the same time. So if you're ever fearful or feeling down or feeling negative, practice gratitude, maybe reflect on your wheel of life for the week and use that as a tool then to realize what you have going for you at the moment because sometimes it can seem that there's nothing, but when you see it visually like that, oh wow, actually my goals are actually pretty high, my fitness is pretty high this week, I can be thankful for that. Imagine that I can work out myself. Imagine that I can breathe and walk around myself, like that's a lot. So I hope it's helpful. Uh, have a great day and thank you so much for watching again.